DC. It's where we live. It's where we work. It's where we play. As DC government employees, you work hard to keep DC at its best. And without your hard work, DC wouldn't be what it is today. That's why the DC government is committed to keeping its most important people happy and healthy. As a part of that commitment, take a moment to learn about the growing concern with HIV in Washington. Hi, I'm Tamika Chavis, and I'm here to talk to you today about your health. You have all types of measures to watch to stay healthy. They're the usual ones, like blood pressure, cholesterol, sugar, or weight. But now there's one more we need to watch out for in 2012, HIV. Whether we like to admit it or not, HIV is real in DC. And I'm here to set the record straight about HIV testing, prevention, and treatment, and to tell you how you can get peace of mind no matter what your results are. Let's check our reservations about HIV at the door and have some real talk about how you can get tested and help stop HIV. Here's more about HIV from the DC Department of Health Director, Dr. Muhammad Akhtar. A lot has changed about HIV in the past few years. Testing is simple and convenient. DC Department of Health recommends getting an HIV test once a year with your normal physical checkup. As DC government employees, it's covered by your DC health plan for you to get tested. Your status is completely confidential, so you don't have to worry about anyone in your agency learning about your results. And even if your results are positive, new advances in medicine make it possible for HIV to be a manageable condition so you can live a comfortable, active life. We have high rates of HIV in DC and getting tested is vital to keeping people HIV free. Doctors all over DC area are prepared to answer your questions about HIV and have real conversation with you about your test results and treatment if necessary. Since there's no better way to show you how you can ask for the test, let's watch a few doctors with their patients in action. Let's start with the most common scene in a doctor's office. Hello, Dr. Jones. Shirley, great to see you. How's the family? Oh, everyone is fine. How are you? Wonderful. I'm well, thank you. Great. So what can I do for you today? Just a routine checkup, and I'd also like to get an HIV test. Why? Do you well, think you need one? Well, I've been seeing and hearing about it all around town, on the side of the bus, co-workers at work, and everyone is saying how important it is to get an HIV test with your routine checkup. Why do you think that is? Well, HIV isn't what it was years ago. It's now a very real health concern for everyone in D.C., and people's attitudes about getting tested are beginning to change, fortunately for the better. Do you have any questions I can answer for you about getting tested? How does the actual test work, and do I need to sign anything? It is very simple and routine. Just think of it as another blood test. All I have to do is check a box on the chart you signed when you came to the office to add an HIV test. Oh, okay. Well, what about cost? Will my insurance cover it? HIV tests are covered completely by most insurance plans, but I know for certain your provider covers it fully since you work for DC government. Awesome. One more question, I promise. And it's about the results. Who gets to see the results and what happens next? In the vast majority of HIV tests, the result is people are HIV negative. I give the results only to you, just like with your other tests we do today for blood sugar and cholesterol. If your result is positive, we'll talk through it and begin a plan for treatment. Great, thank you. Let's do it. Okay. Hello? Shirley, it's Dr. Jones. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. Well, I'm calling with your test results. Um, your blood pressure is a bit high, so you should continue your medication as you normally do. Okay. Uh, your cholesterol levels are right where they should be. And lastly, your HIV test came up negative. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes. Now that we've seen one of the more common scenarios, let's look at an example of what to expect in the rare event that your test turns up HIV positive. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, doctor. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. 
I've been hearing at work that everyone in the D.C. area should get an HIV test. Do you think I should get one too? Sure. More of my patients have asked me about HIV testing like yourself. And now it's what I recommend to all my patients. It's easy to add like the other tests we're doing today. And don't worry, it's covered by your insurance. Okay. Thanks for coming in. I got your results and I'd like to talk to you about them. Okay. Your HIV test came back positive. Okay. So what's gonna happen next? What we'll do is we'll take a second test to confirm the results, but the most important thing you should know, there's a lot of great medications for HIV now. What's best to do is to start right away. HIV is like diabetes these days. When you take your medication every day, you'll do just fine. Think of it like taking a cholesterol pill. We can keep your HIV in check and you're gonna live a long life. We're gonna make an appointment to see another great doctor I know who will work with you to keep you healthy. Is my insurance gonna cover all this? Yes, it does. I don't think I want anybody to know about this yet. I mean, who's going to find out? Do I have to tell my job? Your status is completely confidential. No one tells your job. You won't lose your job. You won't lose your insurance. I understand you feel this way right now about talking about this. I know it can be difficult, but telling other people will help you. Just know that the Department of Health gets notified that the person has a diagnosed positive for HIV, but it's only for reporting purposes. So let's go ahead and schedule that appointment. So now that we've seen some real life examples of people getting an HIV test, let's recap. Shirley made the decision to ask for the test. Her test was simple and convenient. It was totally free because of her DC government insurance plan and her results were completely confidential and conveniently delivered. Bill was proactive about getting tested because he heard at his agency that HIV is a real issue in D.C. By getting tested, Bill found out he was positive sooner rather than later, and now he's already started treatment that's 100% covered by his insurance. And lastly, Bill's status remained 100% confidential, so he doesn't have to worry about his employer, landlord, or anyone knowing his status. HIV tests are a simple and important way we in D.C. can prevent the spread of HIV. They're especially essential if you're pregnant. If you're pregnant and HIV positive, modern medicine can prevent HIV from being passed on to your baby. In addition to practicing safe sex by using male and female condoms, getting tested every year is one way you can stop HIV in our community. You can also play a part by encouraging friends and partners to get tested. If you live or work in D.C., you can get condoms for free at over 500 locations across the city. Go to RubberRevolutionDC.com for more information. So you've heard from doctors and seen common scenarios about getting tested. Now let's hear firsthand what it's like being HIV positive from one of your colleagues. My name is Derek Orr. I'm the director of the Office of Disability Rights, and I'm HIV positive, and have known my status for 25 years. I know how common HIV is in D.C. The choice to ask for the test is simple to me. HIV has changed a lot since I was diagnosed. Testing is more available and treatment has improved. It is encouraging that HIV is coming out of the shadows and whispers. We have more work to do on eliminating stigma with HIV, but seeing ads on buses, posters and banners all over town, and this effort to support all D.C. government employees shows we are making tremendous progress. As a director of the Office on Disability Rights, I want to assure you that HIV testing and living with HIV are fully protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act and in the District of Columbia. Your job, insurance, housing, and other benefits are not affected because of HIV testing or being HIV positive. Getting an HIV test or living with HIV are strictly confidential, and sharing your status will make you feel more empowered and healthy. You have to ask for the test. You have to see a doctor and get tested. Getting tested every year and practicing safe sex will keep you healthy. I got tested and now I'm getting treatment and I have a lot to look forward to in life. As DC government employees, you're making our neighborhoods safe and improving the quality of life for DC residents. Through your commitment, DC is on the path to becoming even stronger. Now we're here to do something for you and your health. Join tens of thousands of DC residents who have asked for the test. 
It takes a lot to make DC the one city we care about great. And we know that the more than 30,000 of you are up to the job. Next time you visit your doctor, ask for the test for you, the people you care about, and our city. I took it for my wife. I took it for my son. I got tested and got my health back. I got tested to be sure. For more information, call the HIV AIDS Hepatitis STD and TB Administration at 202-671-4900 or visit www.doh.dc.gov slash H-A-H-S-T-A. Ask for the test.